We um, do histology for many reasons, but for teaching purposes, we teach histology uh, to enable students to be able to recognise the normal structure of tissues so that they can have a basis for recognising when things go wrong in pathologies. Um, and also it enables uh, them to be able to relate the, the structure of, of tissues and cells to their specific function. In histology, uh, we need to preserve a tissue by fixing it to keep it in as lifelike state as possible and also to prevent it from degrading. The tissue is, is processed and embedded in wax and the wax provides some stability to the section and protects it that enables us to cut very thin sections of the tissue without damaging the tissue. And we need very thin sections so that we can look at it down the microscope and it allows light to come past through the section so that it can be viewed. We need to stain the tissue because very thin sections of, of unstained natural state tissue don't have any innate colour and so it's very hard to make out anything when you look at it down the microscope. We stain uh, tissues with a variety of different dyes and colours because they have different properties and different dyes will stain different parts of the cells and the tissue and this enables us to use the appropriate dye to illustrate the part of the tissue or the cell that we really want to emphasise. Well, traditionally, students would view microscope slides using a, a light microscope. Uh, we at Bristol have developed a, a virtual microscope, which is an online computer system where real microscope slides are digitised on a, a server on the computer and viewed through specific software, which the students can use to, to view sections on computer screens, either in our histology class lab or from wh wherever they are. The virtual microscope that we have is a fantastic resource uh, for teaching students because within the class lab we can ensure that all students are viewing the same section at the same time. It's very easy to look at images on the screen and to talk about what you're seeing and explain what it is that students are seeing on the screen. The students also have 24-hour access to the uh, specimens on, on the virtual microscope from wherever they happen to be.